All right, guys. I'm Jason from Jason's Lab, and on the other line here, we have Dustin from... From Network Guy. Yeah, there we go. So the two of us both talk about networking and stuff like that. Dustin has a um, website that has a lot of good videos in there and stuff like that, and I've put that in my videos a couple times. And now we have uh, are going to try to do a collab, and we're going to show you guys how to work with our... My box isn't on my desk anymore because I moved it to my lab, but we both have VP2420 boxes. So, so we're going to do some VPN tunnels and show the throughput through that. And Dustin thinks we should start off with WireGuard? WireGuard? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm most familiar with and it's easiest to set up, I think. Okay. Although I had trouble with first little bit of getting it working when I first was learning how to do it. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> once, you, once you learn it, I set it up again from scratch and it works. Well. So I guess we'll do WireGuard first and what we're going to do is we're going to follow your instructions. You're going to follow them on your screen and I'm going to follow them on my screen. We'll do all the testing and then maybe another video after that we'll do IPsec because I'm good at doing IPsec tunnels. And then after that, should, do you think we should do a um, open VPN one? Yeah, I mean, can't hurt because I some people use them, but um, the WireGuard seems pretty popular. But I, I, it doesn't hurt to, to try several of them, see how they perform because that's probably the least performing of those three. Yeah, I think OpenVPN yeah. taxes the CPU a bit more than the other ones do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that should be too to cool. And then um, after that, well, we'll do after we're done that video for the um, the VPNs for people. We'll take on questions. Um, I know we are both active in the forums, so there's lots of stuff that people would, once we put this video up for people to look at, um, people will start asking us to do certain things, and we could do it as a collab, or we could take turns doing stuff back and forth, so that'll help out a lot of people, and I can see that your channel's growing, so once you start showing people that you're doing OpenSense stuff, and instead of just being a name on a website and doing some videos, people are going to start following you and stuff like that because there's a lot of open sense people out there, right? Like I get tons of posts. My phone's always dinging in the open sense group. So the more content we put out there, and it doesn't have to be like a 20 minute video. It could be like a, somebody wants us to do this video. So do that little part of a video because that's what happens, right? People want little things how to do it. Yeah. Some of that stuff content is like, Super focused on one specific content. Some is a little bit bigger, broader. Yeah. And that is a comprehensive one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, come and the nice thing about that is if we t tackle one subject at a time, but also little things that people want, you could put that in there in your videos where people are like, they'll search YouTube how to do that one thing. So sometimes people like me will do it, or where other people will do it, is they'll do a video. They'll have like five different things in that video, but the person only wants to come for that one thing. So they have to search through the video for it. Whereas if we start targeting on little things that people want, it'll be good. People like that kind of stuff. Yeah, sometimes I do get ideas from Reddit and stuff. <laughs> Somebody was asking a question, like, oh, that is a good question. That, that's a good idea, yeah, exactly how that worked. Interesting, cool to look at. Well, that's how my, um, that's my, how my, that's how my channel really started out is I have ADHD, so I don't read instructions. Like, your web page is good, but sometimes following those instructions, people don't, like me, don't understand them, but... The way Untango had it, they had a wiki for Untango. And the problem is, is they didn't put proper pictures how to get from step for step. And I always struggled with that. So I started doing videos for that. And people always asked me, how do you do a wire guard? And I did a wire guard video. And people were like, this is the best video in the whole world because it shows you how real simple it is on Untango. So, I mean, yeah. some people can follow instructions. Some people like videos. There's Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do a little bit of both. Like I, where I did the guide on how to set up a full network, I'm trying to do... At least a four-part series on it right now. So yeah, hoping to basically show like I'm plugging in this port, yeah, Kate, uh, Ethan Cable on this port, and then so you can physically see the connections go because you can it's easier to show that in video than like a diagram in some ways. I mean, I had a, I drew it on a diagram. You can see some of that, but it's kind of cool to see how everything is put together. Yep. Uh, together. So then when you go to do the configuration, it makes the move a little more sense than just yeah. Read through a bunch of text. <laughs> well, some people, some people can read a manual. Like some people, and I'm, 
I'm not that one person, but some people will look at a manual with all words and they can build an example. They can build an engine from that because of all that information is in there. Some people go, oh, I have no idea what you do. And they can look at pictures and build the engine from that. So having both of those, you could put these, your videos on your web TED chat or on your website. Plus you can have the content like here, follow these steps, how to do your video. But if you don't, or these steps, how to do what you're trying to do. But if people don't know how to follow that, click this video down below, right? It works. Yeah. Yeah, so you can say click the video and then on the video because they can go to the website. <laughs> People just keep going round in circles, round in circles. <laughs> people in circles, right? But like, I, unfortunately, I'm not able to spend as much time in quality of the video as I can do my written content. But I want to at least try to get started on some of that. Once you, once you get that vibe of how to do the videos, I mean, you don't, some people do 30 minute videos. Those are too long because the attention span for people. But once you say, yeah. I want to show people how to add a VLAN to your network. I mean, it's simple, but some people don't understand that because they come for that. Once you start targeting little videos, you could, as you and I both have, we have little time. So you could target that one yeah. video <laughs> and just put it up there. It doesn't have to be anything complicated, right? It could be just simple little videos, how to do stuff. Yeah, because like the, the written content, I kind of go in a lot of detail. I can't, it's not really conducive to video format, right? So the video format needs to be a little bit more condensed and simplified in some ways so that you can comprehend it and process it. Yeah. And you say, yeah, it's kind of minimize the tangent to get on. Uh, so yeah. That's what I'm trying to get used to as well. It's a little different. I'm getting better at writing that up first, starting writing, you know, four, three or four years ago, <laughs> or four years ago when I started working. It's like I'm, I'm sitting there writing, and then halfway through, I'm like, of this stuff and so and I went back and cleaned a little bit out there's still some that stay focused and, and you have to do that even more on video it's difficult you know especially if you're not you know I, I, that's why I've grabbed my iPad is when I'm I'll be laying in bed watching TV or I'll be doing something something I'm like oh I gotta add that to my video the nice thing about writing it down is you can write it all down before you do your video and then it's like oh then things just naturally go through your video with you right because it's easy yeah, to get off topic <laughs> yeah so I actually started outlining my I'm gonna do my second video because I did the first one in the series the second video I actually had a it's because it, I'm walking step by step through things. I'm just trying to forget anything. I'm trying to follow my written guide a little bit. And I'm going to do exactly the same way. Keep it a little bit more simple. Leave out some of the things I did in the guide in the video. So when I, I might to get a basic network set up that has all the VLANs and you know, lags and all that kind of stuff. So once I get the, the base infrastructure working, then I might come back and say like the fifth video or something and go those other things that I did in the written guide. Yeah. That kind of concluded as I went in the written guide, but in the video, I think I'll circle back around to make it for that. Get this something I can talk about in detail to say, here's some things you do after you get set up. Because that's probably the best way to do it anyway, is make sure everything works first, and then you start adding one thing at a time you know, to harden your network. And you just focus on one feature at a time until you get it where you want. Because if you do too many things at once, I've seen a lot of people when they ask me questions, they just jump in and do all kinds of stuff. They want to do it all at one time. Well, there, there's a process. Right. That, there's a process to doing things yeah, uh, from start to finish. Idea. You don't want to go all over the place. You just want to go from yeah, start I to finish. Kind of start off that way. Yeah, with OpenSense, I just I started off with um, <laughs> I just installed OpenSense in the flat network. So I moved from a consumer grade router to OpenSense with a flat network. So now I'm basically the same as using a consumer grade router. But now I can start playing with the more advanced features, right? That yeah. With like a basic consumer grade router, so I started with that. Then I just worked on again you know, some VLANs in here and see what happens. And I'm going to start work working on firewalls. So and then slowly over time, I've evolved it to where it kind of essentially has become basically that that full network guide that you know it's almost mirrors what I do currently on network. You know, not exactly it's like simplified it a little bit. <laughs> Okay, uh, so this, I guess we'll call this our intro video. And then, yeah. so what I think would be a great idea then is do, after our intro video, we'll do our VPN video. We'll do WireGuard, and then we'll do, in, um, we'll do WireGuard. And then we'll ask people in our second video, or maybe in this video, if people want to comment and down on both of our YouTube channels, what they want us to go over. And we can start collecting things of what we want to do. And I think that'd be a great idea to evolve a whole bunch of videos together. Yeah, yeah. So I think it'd be nice to do uh, several of them on as a, like an ongoing basis. Yeah, it just depends whenever we have time to get together to do. do yeah, it's hard because right now it's eight or it's seven fifty my time, and what do you got your time? 
like ten fifty. Yeah, see. <laughs> and I got I got I got kids and stuff, so I try to get them to bed. Usually we would shoot for nine o'clock, but they're still you know not settled by nine thirty sometimes. Yeah. So, so I was like. But if I go from like, I can go maybe go from like 9.30 to 11.30 to 12, and yeah, I need a little bit of rest for work. Yep, but makes sense. I'm not a full-time content creator. No, me neither. I have to do it on, I have to do it to the same thing. I have to tell the wife, okay, yeah. you're going to go out and do something for an hour? Okay, now I'm rushing to do my video because it's like, I got the whole house that's quiet and nobody's going to interrupt me. So that's the way yeah, I do it. Okay, well, I think we should wrap up our video now because yeah, wife's yeah. calling me and it's about that time. So yeah. I think... Um, I will, um, our video, what we want to do will be good. And then after that, we'll uh, do our second video and this should be good.